So that worked out incredibly well. The train got in like 10 minutes earlier than it was supposed to, um, to Monte Carlo. So I ran to the restaurant that I wanted to go to, Il Terrazano, and it's like, you can see like, there's the casino there, and the restaurant's literally just like up on that next block. Um, so it's really amazing. Like super good pasta. Their Arabiata is so good. It's the one place I've been to that doesn't overcook it. It's like it's actually spicy. And I'm super excited about this Monet exhibit. I'm gonna head there now. I double checked, like there are still tickets. Plus, if I show them my train ticket uh, that I took the train to get here, I get like a slightly discounted rate. I get like three euros off. It's a lot of money right there. It's perfect. I'm gonna head there now and um, hopefully this exhibit is worth all the hype. Okay, so continuing our little tour of Monaco while I'm on my way to see Monet, we are going through the Japanese garden right now. Honestly, it's my first time here. Japanese garden to be honest I mean to be fair okay first there is clearly part of it that's under construction but I would not go out of my way to come here and see this part just gonna say it like it's a perfectly nice garden it's not that big when you consider it even like Monte Carlo Monaco like you expect something a little more grand a little more exciting this is an ant go to the casino instead if you want something exciting um oh here we go we're at the Pone exhibit uh, so hopefully this lives up to the hype.
to the Monet because it was amazing. Really gorgeous. I love the fact that they had paintings of all the tea. It just, um, it was insane to like, see what it looks like in like 1888. Uh, the images are obviously very similar to like what it looks like now. Uh, there's like, the ramparts. It was still just mind blowing to think that like he saw the same like, landscape that you can more or less see today. Uh, so it was really, really cool. And it also featured a lot of uh, paintings as well, like Monaco, different places along the coast. Either way, you can't really go wrong with Monet.